Hello Cricut Crafter! In this tutorial, you will learn how to adjust your material and blade settings in Cricut Design Space. Now, most of you might be wondering, why should you change your material settings? You don't have to, but maybe the material you're trying to cut isn't cutting deep enough and you've wasted all your vinyl and made way too many mistakes, so you need to change the pressure. Or you only need your Cricut to make one pass instead of two. This video is going to help you with changing your material settings, but also create custom settings for you to save and reuse for future Cricut projects. So let's get started. In order to make this adjustment, head to the material settings page. You must click make on a project. You don't have to actually make the project, so just find a current project in your project library or make a new one to head to the next screen. Click continue and then the Cricut will connect to your device. Once it's connected, now you're at the screen we need. Here you have all of your bookmarked or most used materials, but to see all of the materials, click on browse all materials in the right corner. Now you can browse through all of your materials, including your bookmarked and materials that are compatible with your specific Cricut machine. And this is the part we've all been waiting for, adjusting your material settings. Head to the bottom left corner to click material settings. This is the materials dictionary, I like to call it. On the left, you have the material name, then the cut pressure number, the multi-cut row, which is how many passes your Cricut undergoes. So sometimes with materials like wood, it'll cut up to eight times, but usually with cards stock or vinyl, it'll only cut once. And then the final row is the blade type for that specific material. So for example, if you are cutting HTV or iron on vinyl and select the iron on setting, the cut pressure is 118, it only undergoes one pass, and it uses the fine point blade. If we scroll up, the everyday iron on setting uses the same exact lineup. So this dictionary is a great way to see what actually goes on behind the scenes when the Cricut cuts, engraves, scores, etc. As you can see, glitter iron on is a thicker material, so the pressure is higher and set to 205. Now say I wanted to change the original iron on setting because I know that everyday iron on is the exact same. You will click the edit button all the way on the right, and then from there, it gives you the option to change the pressure with this slider button. So I wanted to cut a little bit deeper, but not as high as the everyday iron on. So let's change it to 170. I won't change the passes or blade. So then you can click save. The next very important step is to scroll all the way down and click done for Cricut Design Space to save your adjustment. If you click off the screen, it will not save it. So please do not forget to click done. But now I want to talk about adding a new material setting. This is another great option if you don't necessarily want to change the current settings and also make a new setting if you have a specific type of vinyl or material and want it to have its own setting. Say if you have this special vinyl from 143 Vinyl and it's your favorite sparkly brown glitter iron on but you want to label it sparkly brown glitter iron on, you can do that. So click on the add new material button and then a drop down will pop up. You must name your material setting first, so I'm going to label it custom iron on setting. Then click save when you're done. Scroll up until you find the new setting you just created and then adjust the pressure, passes, and blade. Let's change the pressure to 180 and keep it at one pass with the fine point blade. Also, if you ever want to delete this certain setting, the delete button is right in the middle of cancel and save, but we will not delete our new setting, so we can click save. Again, be sure to scroll all the way down to click done so we save our adjustments. Now you can go to browse all materials, search for your new material setting, and make a better cut for your Cricut project. If this tutorial helped you, please subscribe to my channel and share in the comments. I know how frustrating it can be when your Cricut does not cut your material right and you feel like you wasted time and materials, so be sure to make small test cuts and play around with material settings before you make that lovely big Cricut project of yours. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a very crafty day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!